Now, let me ask you a couple of questions that I got from my Patreon subscribers. Mm-hmm. Um, where is the den on 4K Blu-ray player? <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jake. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, let me get back to you on that one. Got to look a little bit more into that for you. <laughs> we, will st- yeah. we, we will study further. Oh, yeah. and somebody I also noticed in the, in, the, in the comments page, I want to remind you that the 8500, yeah. when we upgrade it, um, when you get the board, you're going to get all of those HDMI features we talked about, quick frame, mm-hmm. transport, the new menu system, the HDMI diagnostics for 8K. All that stuff is going to go into the when you upgrade the board on your current 8500. Every new 8500 to 8500 HA is going to come with that. Yep. Um, also, the 8500s that you have right now are going to get the DTSX Pro update. And they already have the preamp mode. And all the new ones, the HAs, are going to have DTSX Pro and preamp mode. The only thing that will not be available in the, the, uh, the current the 8500 of the things we talked about is dual speaker preset because that is a hardware change. We couldn't do it with firmware. So you'll still get DTSX Pro without getting the hardware upgrade? Yeah, it's a, it's a, the, the brain okay. is big enough. We just yeah. we were just limited. Dolby, uh, DTS said you are licensed on the 8500 to do up to 11. It could all, the right. brain was always big enough to do more. It was just a licensing thing with DTS. They wouldn't let anybody go above 11. Trent off was first, and then they let us do it. Okay? So that's still going to continue to be the flagship for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I mean, okay. I mean, with the exception of dual pre, um, eventually you may see another one. That's Jake. Uh, that's Jake's wheelhouse. But right now, that is still the biggest, baddest AVR. I mean, how mm-hmm. many other thirteen channel amplifier, um, fifteen out models with Oral 3D, IMAX enhanced, DTSX, and Dolby Atmos, <laughs> DTSX Pro exist? One, and it's ours. So yes, it's still the flagship. It's like when you're going to upgrade your Lamborghini, you know. <laughs> Oh yes, it is. It is until someone tops that piece as an AVR. Um, there is no um, we. That piece is still the king of the hill. Um, one more question. I know you. Well, another question. I know you said you get seventy percent of what your what the sticker says on the on the actual AVR itself, like one hundred forty watts per channel. You get seventy percent of that. Is that seventy percent continuous or seventy percent peak? Jake, that's seventy percent continuous, uh, guaranteed. I'm five channel driven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So so we're doing. So Jake is working on. They call it the seventy percent guarantee. Mm-hmm. Now the big number is on there because if you walk uh, like your viewers are very knowledgeable, I could tell yeah. just by the comments. But the average consumer is walking into a store, and everybody's putting um were, was putting these crazy mile power numbers on it. So oh. if you put all channels driven, and they're putting one channel before it blows up power on it, the mm-hmm. uneducated who are just looking at that fact tag to quickly make a decision and, 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 can, and does not understand those two differences, it puts us at a disadvantage, okay? So, of course, so that number is there for marketing. We know that you guys understand that that is just maximum wattage. But Jake says you're working on that to make that number even more honest, right, Jake? Yeah, so we've actually already changed that with all these models coming up. Um, even on the model that Phil has, the 6700, it is uh, showcasing it at 140 watts at 8 ohms. So normally, like going in a Best Buy or something, seeing that, you'd see it at 250, 270, um, and just be a little bit exasperated and a little bit larger than it really is if it's read at 6 ohms. So what we did is give the most realistic, continuous um, drive driven. Um, this one, this scale is from two channel driven. And uh, in, on top of that, on, um, online, we've offered all of the other wattage comparisons just so that you guys know what you're getting. You know exactly. what to expect. Yeah, because yeah. before a lot of companies are doing, um, a lot of companies were doing one channel before it blows up power. Okay? Mm-hmm. We are doing, the number you're seeing is two channel with a, not a lot of distortion. So it's not like maximum distortion. It's like two channel um, this much with uh, this level of distortion continuous. And then we're guaranteeing that you can get at least 70% of that by driving all five. And actually, Gene has tested, some of these guys have already tested it. They're getting all seven at 70%, okay? Mm -hmm. So, so, um, So yeah, I mean, we have to realize there's this fine balance between the marketing side of it and and what we can and what we want we believe is right for us to put on a on a display. Hmm. Exactly. 